Pets lining up in game number 30 in a grand final. Can you believe you've gotten to this point so quickly? Yeah, um, probably still hadn't really kicked in yet, I don't reckon. Um, I suppose that'll start kicking in once once all the um, festivities start for the grand final, I guess. But um, yeah, obviously I've gotten there a lot quicker than most others. Like you look at Nathan Jones, who's played 300 and never played in one. So um, yeah, I'm very excited for it anyway, but um, yeah. Growing up, no doubt you dreamed of playing AFL footy. Did you think ahead and think, gee, I want to play on the big stage in the grand final? Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, it's, it's always a dream of uh, myself as a youngster. Um, always, always dreamt of running out there in front of 100,000 at the, at the MCG. Obviously not at the G at Optus this year, but um, yeah, very excited. Certainly a big occasion. Are you someone who's nervous pre-game? Do you think about it much? It's an extra bit of time off before this one. Um, no, nah, not really. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pretty good. Um, I normally have my own routine that I go through. Um, and then um, obviously I get a bit, bit nervous um, when, when Goody's speaking to the boys before we run out. But once I'm out there, um, it's, I'm pretty, generally pretty good. You've had some massive responsibilities in previous weeks. May went down last week. You got Hawkins for a little while there. Have you enjoyed taking on those challenges? Yeah, um, it's always good to, to, I suppose, get a challenge on the footy field. Um, I suppose when you when you got someone like Hawkins, you really need to be on your toes to to what you do and make sure make sure you make sure you're on your toes to whatever they're they're ready for. You look pretty comfortable out there. Did it take you long to feel like you were settled in this league? Um, yeah, it took me a couple games. I suppose my first couple games were a little bit rusty and my first game this year, obviously having a year off my groin injury, I felt like I was a bit slow to the AFL game. So um, it took me a couple games, but once I got my game up and running, I feel like I, I probably got connected to the game really quick. No doubt made easier by having Stephen May and Jake Lever by your side. That whole backline group, has it helped you just settle in? Yeah, definitely. Um, we got Christian Salem here as well, so um, having them leaders back there um, always makes it a lot quicker for, for us younger guys coming in, um, telling them, telling us where to go um, always makes it a lot easier. Troy Chaplin is the backline coach. What relationship have you had with him? Um, yeah, I've been pretty close with Chappie. Um, I've, well, he's been my backline coach the whole time I've been here, so um, our relationship's pretty close. We, we, we get along on and off field, so um, he's always hard when he needs to be and um, gives me a bit of love when he needs to be too. A little bit of time off before this game. What's the training load been like? Is your body feeling pretty good? Body's feeling pretty good, yeah. I pulled up pretty good after the Geelong game. Um, obviously had a couple of days off now and um, had tra main training yesterday, which um, went, went pretty good and no injuries there. So um, yeah, body's feeling pretty good. Hopefully get through um, main training on is it Saturday night, I think. And then um, obviously the week build up to the grand final. Hopefully I get through that and yeah. A bonus for you is being from South Australia. South Australia, you can get a bit of family across. How many tickets have you locked in? Yeah, I've got I've got 16 coming, so um, pretty pretty excited to see them, and obviously very lucky for um, the borders to be open and them to come over. Obviously, I don't, didn't get to many games this year and last year with COVID, but um, yeah, very happy there on their way. It's a great time, but well I'm getting through with Christian Salem in the background, and good luck for next week. Thanks, mate.